We have a question from Daniel. That's a good name. It means God is my judge. I am 30, I'm 35 years old and I've been training mainly calisthenics for the past five years. Recently, I discovered Olympic lifting and realized how fun it is, and now I wish to improve. I have my own barbell and a few bumper plates that I add to each month on payday. <laughs> I like that. I would like to take part in a local competition in about 12 months after I have practiced more. You know, Daniel, I think if you can get into a local competition, all the questions that are coming up are going to be answered. Uh, I lifted in my first meet three weeks after I saw a snatch live for the first time in my life. Three weeks. I learned so much on that platform. Uh, by the way, uh, two weeks later, I went to my next meet. And then a week later, I went to my third meet. I think within the two, first two months of me lifting, I was in three meets. Uh, it was interesting because nine months after my first meet, I snatched what I clean and jerked in my first meet, which is kind of the norm. Um, the sooner you get on the platform, the more and more you're going to learn. What's going to happen at that weightlifting meet is you're going to be around other lifters and your experience of the noise of a weightlifting meet is going to teach you so much. It's going to teach you volumes. If you can, Daniel, get yourself into a weightlifting meet as soon as possible. Uh, in Utah back in the day, Dave Turner would have all these kind of friendly weightlifting meets. And uh, it was interesting because, you know, I'd be warming up with a, you know, a 13-year-old boy who's getting nervous because he was going to try to snatch the real bar for the first time, 20 kilos. And my opener was going to be 125 kilos in the snatch. But we were both just as nervous. And it's a great learning experience. I know finding a coach would benefit me, but I also enjoy lifting outside my garden. I, yeah, I love it. Which fits better into my schedule. So all my learning comes from YouTube and trial and error. God bless you for watching YouTube to learn. Oh, good luck with you. My question, what exercises can be done as accessories to benefit Olympic lifting? Let me give you the whole list. Snatch, clean and jerk. That's it. Now, there are two other exercises, the overhead squat and the front squat. One of the things I would recommend, it's, it's interesting because uh, my good friend Brian is going through our easy strength uh, Olympic lifting program right now. But what I want you to do, Daniel, is I want you to look up, go online, uh, type in Dan John Complex, and I want you to start doing Complex C. Just Complex C as your warm up. It's going to be hang snatch, overhead squat, back squat, good morning row, and then snatch grip deadlift or any variation deadlift. Um, I'd like you to work up to three to five sets of eight on that. And what that's going to do is going to, it's going to be my assistant coach, coach repetition. The more reps you do, the better and better you're going to get. So here's my set of advice for you. First, get it, get yourself into a meet as soon as possible. You know, join, join your national organization, uh, you, with the internet now, it's much easier to find local meets, uh, and then try to start doing complex C. Once you get to a meet, you're going to bump into other lifters and you might be surprised to find out that with one, within a discus throw of your house is another Olympic lifter. That's what happened with me. Um, the, the, but you have to go to the meet. Uh, I would bring a paper and pen and write down names and phone numbers and get yourself Get yourself into a community. Even if you can just go to a gym one day a week, Saturday mornings is usually the best. Uh, it'll be night and day for your, your training. And Daniel, good luck to you. That's awesome.